My name is Christopher Langdon, ENT and head and neck surgeon uh, with a main specialty in rhinology and skull based surgery. Minimal invasive surgery in ENT means that we can do all the surgery, the classic surgery, through the natural orifices of the body, such as the nose, the mouth, and the ear, without a scar or visible scar to the patient. Uh, with this, we reduce the hospital stay, uh, the postoperative immediate complication, and we reduce the pain postoperatively as well. My main focus is endoscopic endonasal surgery. We perform from um, inflammatory benign disease like sinusitis up to big skull-based tumor uh, such as malignant disease through endoscopic endonasal surgery. Moreover, we develop in this center new techniques to reconstruct the nasal septum through endoscopic endonasal surgery. Multidisciplinary team is indispensable in my field. Uh, we work beside a neurosurgery in complex skull-based tumor. Uh, we work beside allergologists and pneumologists in chronic rhinosinusitis patients. And moreover, we have to work uh, side to side with radiologists, radiotherapists, uh, oncologists, and, and other specialities to give the best standard of care to all our patients. Nasal septal perforation is a destruction of the septum that divides both nostrils. And the main causes are postoperatively of uh, septoplasty or rhinoseptoplasty, uh, abuse of toxic substances through the nose, and autoimmune diseases that distract endonasal tissue. In this center, we are pioneering endonasal reconstruction of nasal perforation. Lately, uh, we develop a new technique to reconstruct total septal perforation using the pericranium, that is the tissue that re, uh, covers all the skull, and we pass it through the nasal frontal sinus to the nasal um, cavity and to reconstruct the whole nasal uh, septum. Nowadays, we are receiving patients with a total nasal amputation that needs reconstruction. So nowadays, we are developing new techniques to reconstruct uh, the nose to, and give the best aesthetics and functional results to our patients. Mm -hmm.